Hey guys, it's Special Z here, and welcome to episode 4 of my New York City Wrestling series for TW 2016. So, of course, I mentioned in the previous episode that the format's going to change. I'm not going to bother showing you guys me booking the whole show. Um, instead, we're going to do this and run forward with the whole show already booked. And we'll just go through the ratings and, yeah, come to a, a conclusion at the end of it. Okay, so the opening match, Honest Frank versus El Medico. Decent match. Honest Frank defeated El Medico in 7 minutes 58 seconds by pinfall with a Frankenherder. Um, yeah, 42D. So good, yeah, this match got the show off to a strong start. You're not wrong. Um, so yeah, El Medico with a 35, Honest Frank with a 40 in-ring performance. Uh, we then have Man Mountain Cahill and Bulldozer Brandon Smith. They both cut a promo backstage, um, back and forth, really. I mean, it says Man Mountain Cahill cuts it, um, but they're both rated on Menace in this promo. And, uh, yeah, just imagine them both, like, staring at each other, getting real close to each other, just screaming, screaming their promos as big menacing heels would. Kind of. Uh, they then had a match together. Yeah, great heat, decent wrestling. Bulldozer Brandon Smith defeated Man Mountain Cahill in 11.42 by pinfall with a tombstone pile driver. Of course, he couldn't do that finisher before. So, yeah. 51 D-plus as well. Pretty decent match. Getting up there. Nearly a C. Two points off a C. Uh, Man Mountain was tiring towards the end. It was only a 12-minute match. And uh, yeah, he's getting better at his gimmick as well. And Bulldozer had a performance of 58. Cahill with 39. So Bulldozer is definitely going to be the man going forward for us, I think. At least until some of these guys get ready. Uh, the guys like um, Nigel, El Medico, and uh, Tigre. So yeah, Nigel versus Brutus Milano. 37 D minus. Nigel defeats Brutus in 534 by submission with a hyper extension arm lock. Nigel gets a 38 on his performance. Brutus with a 25. No perform, uh, no worker improvements there. Wow. Wow. A 56 C minus. Marsh Stranger versus Storm Spillane. In a decent match, Storm Spillane defeated Marsh Stranger in 11.44 by submission with a kneeling Boston Crab. And then you got Marsh Stranger off his game. Got the crowd buzzing. Storm got a 53 performance. And uh, Stranger got a 41. No worker improvements. Uh, this was a steal the show match, so I think it has definitely done what it actually set out to do. So that's pretty cool. We then have a Boys from the Yukon promo. Again, just another Menace promo um, for their uh, for their tag team. Hopefully it gets them over. Their match, however, was quite bad. I knew this was going to be really bad, um, as planned. Yeah, I had this match bring the crowd back down because I kind of knew it was going to suck anyway. Got a 35E+. E uh, the boys from the Yukon defeated Brooklyn's Finest in 619 when Howlin' Mad Mort defeated Hawkeye by pinfall with a timber. Eh, Hawkeye was once again the worst. Um, but the other guys were okay, I suppose. Pretty bad rating, to be honest. The next match is Steve Flash up against Seth Whitehead. And, yeah, as you expect, Steve Flash defeated Seth Whitehead in 8 minutes by pinfall with a flash bang. Um, they both had equal ratings. Really? Well, that's interesting. Now, the next match is pretty good, 47D. Marvel Malloy defeated Crockett Tubbs in 1021 by pinfall with a Marvel Breaker. Um, once again, very, very close ratings. Marvel with a 45 and Crockett with a 44. No worker improvements. We then have a Tennessee William promo on Rick Sanders, 45D. Got the crowd hotter, good stuff. And the match got a 48D+. Plus. Rick Sanders defeated Tennessee William in 10 minutes, 5 seconds by submission with a figure 4 leg lock. And once again, they both have very similar um, match ratings or in-ring performance ratings. And uh, Tennessee improves in technical skills, so that's good. He's still 26, I believe, so that's, that's a decent, you know, still got a decent time to improve. Uh, then we have Honest Frank cutting a promo on Bulldozer Brandon Smith. Gets a 61C, that's a pretty awesome rating. Um, he's 
uh, not rated on anything either. If that was rated on Menace, that would probably be a, a very, very good promo. Uh, but that does mean we're going to book in for Spring Breakdown. I'm going to book in a one-on-one -on -one match. Bulldozer Brown and Smith versus Honest Frank for the Empire title. Let's get it on on the next show. And, yeah, no worker improvements there. Is this the main event? Yes, it is, and it's a horrible main event. Um, I decided to bring um, El Jaguar in for on, on a loan from CZCW. Yeah, and we only got a 38D- minus from our main event. I think I might be using the ring generals a little bit too high on the card. They're in the upper mid-carders. I'm kind of using them in the main event picture. Well, in the last two main events, of course. The Ring Generals defeat the Wildcats in 1941. Maybe just the, the match lengths might be too long. Uh, when Marv Statler defeated El Jaguar by pinfall with a wheelbarrow bomb. And El Jaguar was obviously the weak link out of everyone. He only got a 23 in-ring performance. That is horrible. Um, El Tigre, that's, today was his debut as well. Not El Tigre, sorry. Tigre Salvage Salvage Tigre Jr. We're gonna rename him to Tigre Jr. Or whatever his other name was. Um So yeah. Not a great rating. Uh Tigre improves in performance, which is good. Let's have a look at the dirt sheet before we advance here. Yeah, okay. My bad. I, I think I Yeah. I probably shouldn't have called it. I thought he might have been able to call. I think he was just a very high C minus, but obviously not. So he done, got done for struggling with the slow build and poor psychology. Um, yeah, he was penalised for being done to a crowd that was already at an emotional high. Okay, so probably got dinged for being a spectacle as well. Okay, you live and you learn. Um, still going to be a fairly decent show. 37D minus, I think that's our best, if I'm not mistaken. Might be wrong. Um, but yeah, we've definitely got to give the uh, credit to Storm and Stranger, um, and then maybe Honest Frank as well. Uh, Honest Frank? N nah, not Honest Frank. I think Bulldozer. Bulldozer was pretty good in his match once again, so... Okay, Bulldozer, um, Storm and Master Stranger. Okay. Praise these guys. Awesome. We'll go back to the uh, the title screen here. Um, we're still making profit, which is good. I think we made another 30,000 last month. Um, but of course, we're not getting the popularity that we need. Um, there goes El Jaguar. He's gone. Uh, Brutus has issues because I decided to uh, make him lose to um, to Nigel, and Nigel was an opener. So he's going to be annoyed. Um, we won't give him a thousand. We'll give him another two hundred. Um, okay, screw you. It's only minor now, anyway. So yeah, uh, pretty good show. Uh, we did not improve... Oh, we did. 29 popularity now, but the importance is still 28. Um, did things change? That's an interesting question. Look at the importance. Okay, so it's 99%. It, I think it was at 100. Unless I'm mistaken. But 99, so... Hopefully it'll... One more show, and we might actually get to uh, regional there, which is very important because obviously you get more sponsorship money, and that's only going to benefit us. The more money we have, uh, the more money I'm going to spend on talent. Um, I would like to uh, possibly get Greg. Is it Greg Gage? The one that's yeah, yeah. I would like to get Greg Gage in. Um, I, I think he's the only one out of. Uh, Matthew Keith, Casey Glenn, I think they're all on written deals now. So, I think I want to get him in before he actually gets snapped, uh, snatched up. 
He is with uh, GCG, so they could probably offer him a written deal at any stage. Because he's actually based in Japan as well. So yeah, that's basically going to wrap this episode up, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Um, much shorter episodes coming from now on. So I hope uh, that's all cool with you guys. Uh, we'll have a little storyline roundup. We've got a 58C- minus for the Empire building. 30E+, plus for the tag titles. The new generation's at a 38D-, minus, and old school versus new school is also at a 38D-. Minus. So yeah, we'll see you in the next episode, guys. Don't forget to drop a like. Comment if you choose to do so. Um, I love some feedback, so make sure you uh, you do that if possible. Goodbye, guys.